The Slim Fast 14-Day Effect on your New Year's resolution. Day one, the new year. You want to kick it off with a bang, and you're not just talking about fireworks. Day 14, you're ready to start this year right, looking great and preferably on top. Two weeks is all it takes to get what you really want. Swap two meals a day for Slim Fast protein shakes or bars, get in a 30-minute workout, and stick to a 1,200-calorie diet to lose up to six pounds in your first 14 days. Find Slim Fast in a store near you. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Under the Gun After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show, it's AfterBuzz TV's Under the Gun After Show. Hey guys! Oh, this is a good pick. Yeah. We, how are you doing? We are at the premiere episode of Under the Gun. I'm your host, Virginia Reina, and we have some lovely ladies with us tonight. Hi guys, I'm McKay. Hi everybody, Amanda Fields here, and to my left is... Hey, I'm Steph Z. And we have a very special guest with us tonight. Want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Renee. Renee from... <laughs> America's Next Top Model. Woo, woo, yeah. <laughs> 2 <Two> baby. Woo. <laughs> so we want to just get right into it. This is a spinoff from Project Runway, so it's a little bit similar, but uh, our host is Tim Gunn. We do miss Heidi, but he does a great job. We have three mentors. It's Mondo from, um, what was his season? Well, he was the first winner of Project Runway All Stars. All -Star. And he did season eight or nine, I think. Yes. Anya was season Anya. nine. Seven. 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 Yeah. Yes. Anya was nine. And then Anya from season nine. And then we have Nick Varios from season, season two. two. Veteran. <laughs> yeah, we're going to um, be digging this one out with Amanda <laughs> because Amanda loves him. I love team him, Nick. <laughs> okay, so getting started, we have 15 designers to start today. And the prizes, that they get some sick prizes. Oh. I would, like, these are compared to Project Runway's prizes. Alexis. Mm, better? Get, Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I agree. Yeah. Are you kidding me? They get a they get Alexis. Alexis. Yeah. So they get Alexis. Paris. They, I they think get you to go to Paris too. for inspiration. <laughs> they get a whole hundred thousand dollar brother studio, which is amazing for any you know new designer because the sewing machines are. They get a hundred thousand dollars money, like money. Cash, cash, money, and yeah. then they Plus, get a brother sewing studio. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know if it's. I worth think we're that, more but. excited than the designers because we're like going all over yeah. and talking. <laughs> yeah. And then they get to design a line for Francesca's, which for those of you who don't know what Francesca's is, I it's didn't. a really cute clothing women's clothing boutique in a lot of malls. And Growing what kind of like? Of but like, what price point is it? It's like you know, their dresses are like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, Nothing okay. like crazy. I mean, the, a lot of their stuff that mm -hmm. I get for my clothing boutique, it like you can get it at the wholesale mart mm -hmm. in downtown LA. Right, like right. it's not high in any sort. It's just you know, basics, mm -hmm. basics. affordable, basic, cute, cute. Like, early dresses, like Mandy's. Well, I don't no. know what Mandy's is. I don't know. Isn't that from our show? Oh, that's from Snooki and J. Rob. Forget it. Okay. Different show. Uh, then yeah. they also All can design the new uniform for Benefit Cosmetics. They get a spread in Marie Claire Which magazine. Which I was trying to figure is that are they just doing the product like packaging for that? Is it, what are they? They designed the, the, the they're uniform. They're like makeup artist uniform. Yeah. Oh, the makeup artist uniform. Yeah. Because okay, I was like, why? They're going into graphic design. I feel like that's just a little that's bit crazy. of product placement for the makeup. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's be real. Because that's not like a great price. Benefit has what they wear a coat or is that? Uh, I don't what know. I think they wear an apron. Right they wear a now. cute apron. Yeah, oh, a little okay. apron. And then the Paris trip is sponsored by Blow Pro Salons and yes. hair products, which and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of that throughout the season. And, yeah. and the winner gets to be the guest editor at Marie Claire for one year. You know, I'm that's not gonna a good deal. That's really cool. Yeah, I that's feel like it should have been like go to Paris to like Fashion Week to do exactly. like like this getaway like. I mean, I don't like know if you guys have been mentors. to Paris, but it's like kind of like a lot of other 
places? Am I gonna die? Yeah. Am I gonna get I, crucified? No, I totally agree with you. What? But it's Paris. But if you go during Paris, fashion, right? right. Okay, but to, but to be there for fashion, fashion week, week, like I right. went to fashion week there, I was lucky enough to get invited, and like, woo, we didn't ooh. know who we were in the presence of. <laughs> <Yeah. so I laughs> I can tell you that <laughs> it was a pretty crazy story. If you want to hear it, I'll totally oh. tell you. But I'm oh, no, okay, off we air. have to yeah, know. We have to know. Um, I went there to meet the vice president of marketing for Saks because I was doing Ooh. the charity shirt after Karl Lagerfeld for Saks with Avenue. Oh, that is so nice. we so got nice. we like went really and cool. like they gave us tickets to like we went to the Dior show, we went to a couple other shows. It was pretty Did you insane. Get any prizes? Well, and the the crazy thing was we were actually in New York. On an air, we had a plane ticket scheduled to go to Barcelona to go to Bread and Butter, the big trade show, and we missed our flight. So we're like, where are we going to go instead? And we just were like, let's go to Paris and see if we what? can figure out Fashion Week. And no Saks was emailing us, <laughs> and they were like, well, well, can you come to New York next week? We're in Paris. And we're like, we're in Paris now. So it kind of just worked out. Oh, it was just meant so to cool. be. It was. You it was fun. Like but but being there for, for something like that, it's like, if you're going to tell an athlete, like, hey, go to Sochi, like, right. or hey, go to Any the Olympics other. in Sochi, you know what I mean? Like, while it's all buzzing, is kind of... Right. Because, I mean, this just could be like a fun trip to Paris to just be inspired by fashion, is what it sounds like. Or they could well, spend their time in the red light district. To their, to their defense, <laughs> after you're done with the show to you know keep your sanity, I think they do need that getaway trip. That's true. So, well, maybe. But that's, that's, like, that's right? like Fiji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you know, for maybe people, I just don't like Bali. Paris. But maybe these designers you oh, are, God. you know, like some of them, like <laughs> yes. the girl from Alabama, you know, like I feel like when I would go to New York, because, you know, I was from San Antonio. When I went to New York, I saw fashion. I felt so inspired to sketch there. And, you know, just like, I mean, anybody that you saw down the street, they were just so that's nicely true. dressed. Being around so, inspiration So maybe is that's, awesome, you know, yeah. the city could inspire the winner. That's true. But right, hopefully they dip. get to go to fashion. Week. So Tim yeah. Gunn comes out and addresses all 15 designers that are on Under the Gun. And I have a feeling that all of these designers were kind of thinking, Wait, aren't we on Project Runway 13? I think they auditioned for the show thinking that they were going to be on the next Project <laughs> Runway incarnation. And then this kind of was like this new thing thrown at them. Right. I'm sure they had to like Dick? agree well, to it beforehand, but. They were very hush hush about it. Like, it didn't yeah. come out until, like, All right. All Stars was very. Right. I mean, I had only seen, um, like, a little bit of press for it because they were filming at Fedim and I live across the street from it. And because, like, some of my friends, like Josh Christensen, who was a former Project Runway designer, he was, like, Instagramming pictures of, like, the finale. So that right. was the only way, like, I really knew about it. And so they weren't really saying a lot. Yeah. So it was sort of under wraps, under, under the, the gun. gun. Okay, yeah. so what, what do you guys Shit. think about, you know, how it's been, I, I feel personally it's been declining in quality a little bit. You know, we went from Project Runway to All Stars, you know, from Heidi to Alyssa Milano to, you know, Tim Gunn. And the, the quality of designers that they have, I'm really not feeling it. I really hope they prove me wrong. So, you yeah, know, that's funny. I completely think the opposite. I feel like these designers have a leg up on some of the people that were on the last Project Runway. Well, I think that they're trying really? to make it yeah. a little bit, mm -hmm. like, I mean, they're trying to throw the show off a little bit from what it Maybe, was. Maybe, yeah. You know, Project Runway was, it's not that it was going downhill, but it was kind of like the same thing, like, okay, we get it. Repetitive. You know, and yeah. now, and now like, like, if you voice. look at, like, The Voice, that was a whole new thing that just completely blows American Idol out of the water, because I think people want to see these people be successful, not, like, I mean, I don't like putting them down every week. Like, I want to see them get help. Actually and like grow. Fashion yeah. stars. Teach them, teach them yeah, something. Yeah, teach them something. Yeah. Like, because they are so knowledgeable. Like, these people have so much potential. Why not nurture that potential and see yeah. what a good designer they can actually be? Well, see, that's the thing that I think that Fashion Star did so right, is they mm -hmm. made it tangible. Like, whoever won, you could buy their stuff the next day. You right. know what I mean? Like, how many of these designers from Project Runway have we ever owned really their stuff? From. Besides Nick you. Vario. Nick Vario. Besides <laughs> you, Amanda. And, and Dillard's. By the way, and Lord and Taylor, you can buy okay. NV. Dillard. Where do you even have yeah. those stores? Dillard's is in the south. Down. It's a big box in the south. It's kind of like a, a little bit under It's Bloomies. a big department store there, though. It's good. Yeah, it's it's, it's like brand. a Macy, a little but bit. It's, it's not in, on in the between West Coast, Macy's right? and Bloomies. It's not on the West no. Coast, okay. but you can order online, dillards.com. Oh, I'm okay. just saying, Nick, Nick, I live next to Dillard's. Nick Barry. <laughs> I know we have one in San Antonio. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, I'm curious. from LA, so. Well, and some, <laughs> some of the, you're right. Some of the designers have gone on to have their clothes in stores, and some of them have sold clothes on QVC and things like that. But a lot of them, you know, have kind of just 
gotten lost in the shuffle. But Christian Siriano is the real success story from oh, Project yeah. Runway. He has become on par with Amazing. every big designer in New York Fashion yes. Week. I mean, from and red carpets to magazine covers to like Taylor Swift wearing his gown in her like fragrance campaign. Well, I mean, Michael Costello is doing really well too. That's right. That's he, right. He's doing really well. I mean, Josh Christensen's doing great. He does the Fashion he, Week. He does for, menswear too. He right? does amazing. Yeah. Men's Incredible. Wear. So I mean, there are these success stories. It's just they're few and far between, and we don't mm -hmm. really hear about them anymore. And that's kind of something I wish Project Runway would, you know, do is like give us an update Follow on these ups. other people that are and doing something fabulous. I think it's the fabulous. ambition of the actual person, though, because after you leave the show, it's not Project Runway pushing them. You know, right. it's all up to the, the designers. If they don't have the ambition, that's their problem. If right. They're gonna yeah. let the people from the seasons before crush them. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think it's true, because if you think of a show like this, and you compare it to kind of like an American Idol type thing, mm -hmm. it's like the, the music is, is, again, it's so much more tangible. Like, m the majority of the people like it. The majority of people can have it. It's like if, if one of these dresses were available, like, the four of us probably couldn't wear the same one because it's so stylized mm -hmm. for a certain person. Right. You know what I mean? So it's right. like we would all there's got to be a one. way. Yeah. Right, but they're, they're, they have to figure out a way to, you know, merchandise these shows or, or, or something, I feel yeah. like. Make it more, ta and that's when there's gonna be more and more success stories, because it's gonna be more and more of household items mm -hmm. that you can buy. Like, you can't really right. buy anything. Oh, or maybe okay. like the voice. million dollar idea. Yeah. Maybe there should be like a Project Runway Under the Gun Lifetime store. Yeah, I've actually that was um, talked with a few people about doing something like that, just in downtown, like Josh Christensen. Mm -hmm. That was something that I you know, thought, why don't we get, you know, something where people can go in and say, hey, this is, it's next to fit em. This is is where would they film. So like, yeah. People would go by it. Even yeah. like an online store, like the voice they have, you know, the, the iTunes, iTunes right afterwards. Like, yeah. that would be pretty like, cool. And you remember the stuff because, like, after well, the season's over, you're well, like, it's, yeah. It's exactly. tricky, though, because you have to give a, a fee and licensing, and there's a lot true. of logistics. Like, because with yeah. Fashion Star, they have to basically, like, say, this was my design, but now you can do whatever you want with it. But right. they don't make any money off but of the, it. But see, the, the good thing about that was that all the designers got to have, you know, a, they sold. So they made money and they made name. Even if about like fashion, one or, About they, fashion, they, you know, yeah, even yeah. if but like they don't one make or two people, well, even if one or, or two people buy their design, they still know they're, you know, buying their design. So it's like the contestants in here don't really sell until they're off the show. I right? wonder if, I wonder, there's got to be like um, some sort of something in the contracts that these people for like a certain amount of years, I wonder, I mean, maybe there's not, of... Like if if one if Mondo or whoever blows up that you know Lifetime gets a percentage because that's how Shark Tank is which is kind of uh -huh. similar but like different stuff it's like just for I going on the doubt show it. but just for going on the show well, they have to give six percent of sales for a certain amount of time to ABC yeah that no, could no be, matter if they get an investment or if not if that was the case we would have had other designers on the show and not these three so I'm just saying we had you yeah. know on All Stars talking to Katoa and she passed up the offer to be a mentor. So yeah, you she was thinking about being a mentor, but n actually she's eight months pregnant. Yes. So. so that could be a reason. Yeah. But she, oh, no, she yeah. will be soon. But maybe yeah. we can yeah. get some of them in and, you know. Yeah, we should get the, the juice. Thing, the only reason why I think they're... The uh, juice? The juice. The inside <laughs> juice. <laughs> I thought it was the dirt. <laughs> okay, well, let's, get, let's the get right to it, though, because yeah. we, we okay. um, okay, well, are on a little bit of time crunch because oh. it was an hour and a half. But Tim Gunn comes out and then he introduces the three mentors, which are Nick Varios, Anya Ayung chi and Mondo Guerra. Right. And they come out and, and they announce basically that they have to choose from that pool of contestants, but they're going to split them into two groups. And so one week they're going to have eight designers, and one week they'll have seven. Right. So we see the first eight, and you know they are taken right up, right up into Fitum, and they are actually given five different swatches of fabric that they are going to have six hours to make a garment with, and they can you know use as little or as much of it as they want, and that's kind of their challenge. It's just supposed to be their own person, whoever their design aesthetic is with these. And so after they go in there, we actually see all of the designers, or the mentors, sit down and kind of look over everybody's portfolios, and they kind of get a sense of who everybody is and what you know they want to do. And you know what? I'm surprised you didn't see strategy start right then. Because mm -hmm. the right. people kind of knew who they wanted, and when they were looking through, you don't, like, if me and you were going to be up, I'd be like, oh, I don't like that person. So you would be like, oh, I don't want them either. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. totally no, getting in their head. Right. There was none of that happening. Yeah. And I was like, why is this not happening? <laughs> that could have been. It, because it's the first season, you know, like nobody knows what's going on the first right. season, kind of like they Survivor, nobody knew about yet. alliances, <laughs> right. so yeah, it's their first season, I'm pretty sure if we see a couple of these, you know, Nick will be 
throwing some little things towards Mondo. Yeah. Because he didn't get picked for so long. We'll get into that. We'll get yeah. into that. Okay. So when we go into um, the workroom, let's just get right into that because we are running um, quick on time. Sure. So we have, first person we see is Brady. He tells them that he is making a pencil skirt with a cropped flannel. Um, and he, when they asked, when the mentors asked him, what is your, who is your girl? He said, a girl with bitch heels who can shoot her gun. And I immediately hey. loved him. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's kind of one of my, my favorites. Favorite. He said, yeah. girly tomboy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not, yeah. I'm not a tomboy at all, but I wanted to be his girl. Right. Like, he, <laughs> I was like, I want to be the bitch in heels right. with the gun. Yeah. yeah. Cause it was just so cute. I was no, like, oh, he's love awesome. Him. Okay. Um, what did you guys think about him? I like this personality. It seemed really genuine, and he just looked like he had style. He wasn't all about the the extraness. You didn't need his, you know, him crying or doing anything to like <laughs> distract from. What are you talking the about? Actual crying? Outfit. What are you? Are, <laughs> well, you, are you hinting to being mad about something? <laughs> well, Was there drama? Say, as, as Mondo puts it, I liked his spirit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked how Brady even thought about branding himself. He exactly. Yeah, he's smart exactly. guy. That's a good yeah. designer. Right front. Yeah. And he did it in a tasteful way where it wasn't like in your face. Yeah. Like G-Star. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite brands of all time. They just put their Overdo name it. everywhere. <laughs> okay, so then they move on to Oscar, who says oh he likes God. to be elegant and glamorous. And we find out that he actually... What, is Cuban and made all sorts of dancewear. Yeah, and he was part of like a singing group, and the dancers needed costumes. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Or was it, I no, thought it was just tropical. a singing group. Yeah, I think it was strippers. Yeah, think it was strippers. <laughs> yeah. I know, you make it sound so tame. It's, like, it, yeah, it's a dance group, all right. <laughs> and then he's just like oh, eloquent and this, and it's I like, guess. he made Lady Gaga. I did not get that impression from what their description. It looked like a singing group with backup no, dancers. No, that's no, no, not it. It was like a can can. Yeah, like, all right, I I guess I'm just. We need a that one went right yes. over. It's very polite. It's all right. I'm and, uh, just. The you nice missed it. Girl. It's okay. No, I don't know what this Tropicana thing means. When he so. was like sexy and you know classy and this and that, I'm like, oh, that's me. And then when I saw the dress, I'm like, oh, oh. no. Yeah. yeah. I like his personality. He has personality. Yeah. yeah but he, he has dancer personality. Yeah. His dress did look like a yeah. costume a bit. Oh, and he said he was a costume designer. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Right. so he has the good itself. technical skills. Like mm -hmm. he knows yeah. what he's doing. Um, okay, so then we see. But he he kept adding to that dress. There was the gloves yeah, and then the hat. Yeah, it was That's a costume the, designer. Yeah, like, yeah. they like so to be very building. It was Nick's like, pity pick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we have Melissa, and she was just adorable. I loved her. I'm from Texas, so I love oh people from gosh, the south. Yes, you no, know, she was so sweet. polite. Yeah. she was sweet home Alabama. Yeah, she was. She was. <laughs> I just I Literally. wanted her to like you know. And I knew she was gonna pick those polka dots and just go with them because oh, she's yeah. just the ultimate girly girl. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was kind of worried about the polka dots, I'm not going to lie. I was yeah, gonna, like we, but I it came we out good. Were, and we were like, oh, okay. okay yeah. She pulled that off. Yeah. Well, she she pulled it off. If she had done a one piece, it wouldn't have been the same. I think exactly. it was the And I like the top was a little bit and cropped. Yeah. yeah. It was cropped, but it was a little bit baggier, so yeah. it like I wish it would have been tighter, though. I feel she like it just didn't fit I don't think she it wasn't finished fit, it right, right. because oh. it, there was only one hook and eye at the top of the back. Oh yeah, it looked like that. a zipper that didn't so it was zip just, up. The back of it met only at the top, right. so the bottom was like. Oh, see, I almost out. liked that. I liked that the that the top that was wasn't was skin to tight okay. and the bottom was, so that it kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish it was. I, just, I wish it was more like tailored. That. If it was a little bit more tailored for mm. my taste, I would you know yeah. like it a little bit more. Well, you ladies can rock those bodies. Like that's the difference. I'm like I wanted a little more flowy. That's funny. <laughs> More flowy. And I like the blue details. I don't know if you guys caught it or not. The blue, the blue heels. The, oh. the heels and on the, the uh, you know, uh, the, the sides and no. the skirt, she had blue Ooh, lining. I, that. I no. didn't see the blue yeah, one. I did see the blue heels, the though. I'll the never heels, miss yeah. a blue heel. Yeah, the heels were cool. <laughs> Superhero blue. Okay, and so then we move on to Michelle. I liked her. She seemed a little bit edgy, and the only thing I remember, though, from the workroom was that she'd been working for, like, hours, and she only had a sleeve. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Her what? model didn't even get to try on anything. Yeah. I didn't so. like Does her dress. It was, eh. Boring. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. So well, you know, all of them need to lose weight, and <laughs> everyone. No. <laughs> so is, what? No. So one no. Person, no. 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 So, no. Hold on. One person in particular took it over the edge. So I don't know if she was on slim fast or what she was doing. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this segue. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen a segue quite like that. But you gotta usually, just go with it now, girl. You gotta finish it. No, Amanda. Has our, apo experience. our apologies to <laughs> no, 
empath. She was great. We want to we want to just tell you guys though. <laughs> it is It's not a miracle. Time <laughs> to tell you about Slim Fast because all right, it is a new year. It's January. It's time to get healthy. And we're not talking about getting crazy skinny. We're just talking about being healthy here and taking care of yourself. And with Slim Fast, two weeks is all it takes to get what you really want, ladies. You want to fit into all the clothes. So in 14 days, the only thing higher than your confidence will be your hemline. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Slim Fast. Awesome. And while we're Good at job. it, we want you guys to go on iTunes because we know that's where you're listening to us from and make sure to rate us five Please. stars. You can also find us on YouTube. We love all of your comments. And so since this is our premiere, we do want to hear what you guys think because it's a whole new show. And yeah. we're kind of learning with you guys, you know. Yeah. Tell us what we, you want us to talk we, about. We didn't even know that we were only going to see half of the designers today. Yeah. Yes. That, that was, was kind of weird. like a, drop the bomb on me, us. I knew that. Oh, okay, we so forgot in to case mention. you guys oh, yeah. didn't notice, Amanda was on the show. Yep. I was wearing Camilla's dress. The Cookie black monster. and gold craziness. We're yeah. the runway. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I think we have a couple of photos, by the way. Oh, I thought Ooh. you were in the booth. Ooh. Do we have? Steven? Hello. Anybody? Oh, okay. Ooh. So this is back in Project Runway Season 6 with Carol Hannah Whitfield. I was her 13th look. <laughs> but this is just, I just wanted to show you guys this cute picture of Tim because he's still the same. He's so sweet. <laughs> and I just am excited that we get to recap his show. Like, for him to have his own show now, it's, like, pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, he is awesome. I love Tim. Who's the broad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just so oh, girl. Do you have any pictures from Under the Gun? No, I'm. I don't. Ha I wasn't allowed to take Ooh. any pictures. But oh, this is okay. this is Nick Varios. That's I was just gorgeous. trying to, oh, to yeah. show you guys what he can do. He is so talented. He is like one of my favorite evening gown designers out there. So I'm like surprised people weren't like flocking to him. I think yeah. it is just the older mentality. Like yeah. he just carries himself like very, you know, like not. I I don't want to say the wrong. But he just carries himself as like. Like kind of Tim, like sophisticated, yeah, and yeah. these people are like young designers. Yeah. They want they're, the hip, yeah. cool Mondo. I was and thinking Italian. Italian on the show though. Like, wouldn't you want to be with the person that's seasoned, the person that knows what they're doing a lot mo longer? So yes, long. but you know, like, he looks like he's together. He's a teacher. Yes, but like if you think about young people, like I don't know how old like you, you guys, guys are. Maybe it's because I'm older, but like young people, girl, are, like, I've got oh, years on you. Like they know everything. Yeah, I'm probably older than you all. I think there's one more picture. <laughs> Shout out! Back to me. Nick Varios and I have been friends for a long time, and I just want to give him a shout out. Nick, we I'm love you. To, Get him on the show, man. Yes, we have him call we will have him Let's see how great this show. friendship is. Get him on the show. <laughs> yes, but he's so talented. And Are I, you friends with Tim Gunn, too? No, no, I don't really. Tim I, mean, Buck I want to be friends oh with Tim gosh. Gunn. I would love to be friends with Tim Gunn. I don't know Sorry. him that well. I'm just saying, yeah. I was just. I'm not gonna lie. Amanda was on the show tonight, and <laughs> and I like to be the jokester. And I was ready. I was ready. Right. I had my guns <laughs> loaded, <laughs> and I had nothing to say. You looked stunning. No, she did. You she did looked look stunning look tonight. Yeah, so you did. I will you give you did. That. Not the dress, though. I didn't I like the dress. <laughs> well, I, oh, I didn't like the dress either. I was trying to. Save no, you it. made it look no. good, though. Save it. You made yeah, it look good. Thank God you Let wore it. Let me ask you, ladies, as <laughs> models. Um, what happens when you are wearing it? Like, do you lose a little bit of confidence when yes. you are wearing something that you don't like? Or like, do you just, like, I pretend rock it I'm, anyway? I pretend I'm, like, wearing whatever I want to wear. Like, I'll, like, not, like, I know, like, I feel ugly, so I'll just, like, pretend I'm wearing something cute and just be like, oh, okay. Or I focus but on the positive. Really like, I really feel ugly like ugly if you yes. bed? Really? Yeah, because, like, you know how, like, when you get up in the morning and you have, like, depending on what you wear, that's how I am. I get up right. in the morning and what I'm wearing can tell, you can tell how I feel that day. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, if I'm wearing I something no ugly, I'm going to feel ugly. Is. Like, okay. Like who's okay. gonna who's gonna think I'm cute in that dress? <laughs> I know. Well, well, it's true. It, the I'm thing doing is, it all wrong. The thing is, Camilla, Camilla had a good idea. I liked the technique of the front of the dress, but then it wasn't fitted properly. I didn't feel like it felt sexy. It needed it was to just be shorter. Kind of the, yeah. yeah, it needed to be very fitted. Sexy. Yeah, it's supposed to be yeah. a tailored dress, and it wasn't. And then the a sleeves were like, and the she skirt even, should have been a pencil skirt. She even asked me what I thought about it, and I wasn't sure if I could really say anything. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm not supposed to like influence her design. I, I told her. Yeah, I, I told her. Yeah, sorry, yes. sorry. 
it's not movies. my style, but you maybe. have the models helping on all sorts. Right, so and you know, you yeah. know what look, you know what looks good on you. So you're gonna, yeah. if you, regardless of the design of the dress, was, if it looks good on you, it's gonna afraid, be better for afraid. her. You, you gotta squeeze it in something. in a nice way. Like, yeah, I mean, it fits me, but it doesn't fit me like I want it to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that, that I didn't want her to like yeah. go on camera and be like, my model's a diva. Right. Yeah, because they I like do the black sometimes. Or like like Irina who blamed her model for ripping her dress. Oh my gosh. Yeah. On the show. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. Yeah. You don't. I, that I was that. The, All yeah. Stars last. Those are uh, funny. I was, yeah. I was gone. I haven't Steph caught up. I, I actually know the girl that was wearing the dress. She's actually my best friend. And, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and take responsibility <laughs> for yeah. <laughs> take responsibility for, for what? messing up your well, dress. Well, Irina is just to see you next Tuesday. I mean, nobody likes her. Oh. Wait, who, what? What? What do you, you know? If you know, <laughs> that's what I'm what? gonna say. What? We didn't hear what you said. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Oh, we're moving you on. Can't. Oh. <laughs> you can listen to the podcast later. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's so my cone. second model question mm -hmm. is okay. when you are walking, like when you are interviewing for, or what do they call it? A casting. When you're doing casting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you have like a theme song going in your head when you're walking? No. Yeah. You know that one you song? Know. I'm too sexy. For That's my the one? Shirt. <laughs> she, she has a song. I, I think you might be one of my favorite people <laughs> ever. Because I have a theme song when I walk into interviews, and like, what is it? I. I can't think. It's like that Jesse J song um, from that was like on um, what is that movie um, with? with you go on Emma interviews Stone. a lot, don't Emma you? Stone. No, <laughs> Easy A. Like Easy A. No, I haven't no, seen when it. she okay when she comes out with like that I really slutty Stone. like bustier on the uh -oh. Jesse yeah. J what song. What was that song? I, don't, I remember how she's Jessie's walking in there. Girl. Maybe <laughs> our engineer can find it for us. But um, anyway, it's a good song. But it's yeah. like when I'm wearing that, I feel unstoppable. In really? Heels. Yeah. Holy well, shit! I, guess, I, I need to try all this stuff. I got a snowboarding song. <laughs> I have, I have That's it. actually no song because I want to feel comfortable because a lot of the times in a casting you don't have any music or anything. No. So I actually like to just be comfortable being able to do without music and with music. And even though you have a song in your head, I kind of just try to block everything out and just focus on like zen out yeah. I, would, yeah. I would think not, that not think of anything I just like be natural I overthink too much yeah. to be that zen if I, I overthink so bad this is gonna be crazy but I would think as a model it would be good to focus and think that you're walking naked <laughs> Because yeah. then, no matter and I would what. never get a job ever. No. <laughs> all right. I would just laugh. Well, but you guys get all you ever, the models get naked in front of each other. And do you, you know, know what happens after? <laughs> what? What? What, what, what happens after? About? I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens after because I like how us non-models are making up back the on. modeling world. We put clothes back on. <laughs> Like you guys, I'm sure you guys are comfortable in your skin enough to like get naked, I mean, put all these clothes on. So it's like if you were just like, but, no but, matter, like in a, in a way, it's just saying that know, like you're not aware of what you're doing. But the thing is, like, you're no, yeah. you're no, I get that you're, that you're naked. not really you're naked. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah for, I'm okay, always said it wrong. Okay, wait, else. I'm always naked. By the way, like I like wearing underwear. <laughs> like I like being naked, but I feel cuter in clothes, though. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that. I guess I'm just like I rather wear clothes. <laughs> All right. Wait, I know. wait. Speaking of getting naked, how's uh, Marvin doing? Oh, he's good. He's in New York right now. Are you Is guys that, still together? No. That, that was oh. a, that was so left field. I mean by naked or wow. worse. I went to Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Me I too. Like. <laughs> you and me. Wait, so Marne is no more right now. Well, okay, we're, we, we're really close friends. He's like one of my best friends. I don't so think it's, it's appropriate to put her so on the spot about her relationship. Jam. Moving on. <laughs> no, but her relationship was on Top Model. That's why. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but we don't want to. Sorry, it's awkward. Turn oh wait. Yeah. Anyway, awkward yeah. How's it go? Awkward turtle. This show yeah. is taking a strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so let's, let's get let's back. Reel it to, back in. Let's reel it back in. <laughs> Shan. Um, so right. after Camilla, which was the awesome dress that Amanda was wearing, we're yeah. gonna move on to Blake. It was a crazy dress. Yes, I was okay. really concerned about Blake at first which because one was glasses. He, he was the one He's that one looked. Of the He's from Hoboken. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, like, Hoboken. 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 I Hoboken. love the buckle and on the the black dress. I was a little halter. concerned at first because he just had like a sweetheart halter or sweetheart. Oh, that was the strap one? Mm -hmm. the and then the he added the strap. The strap halter dress. so ugly. Yeah. I, oh, I hate that dress. No, it was my favorite. Really? That was so I, didn't, I didn't like it either. The best, I think the best part of it was the accessories. Like, come, yeah. like I feel like it's like a chonka dress. Like, you no. shorten it, like, like pull that. it up. Yeah, like it looked club. cheap to me with those yeah. little spaghetti. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, I didn't like it at all. Okay, well, in 
in person it was really beautiful and it fit her so well like it was an exact fit to her body and a lot of the designers had some issues with fit so I, I yeah. was impressed with that I think there's a lot to be said about what transfers from TV to what you see yeah. in real life yeah, because I have seen runway shows where I've been to the show and then I saw it on TV and I was like wow that just Looks didn't come terrible. off the yeah, same and I, think I didn't when, like it at all when there's a black dress it's hard to tell on TV what's really it, going on yeah. Yeah. Right. you know what you know what I think though too re realistically about this whole process of picking a team I feel like little things like fit and and maybe the style like those are things like I was shocked that they didn't talk more about the person right you know what I mean like you can't teach someone hard work desire mm -hmm. ambition passion style. creativity like you can't teach yeah. that you mm -hmm. can teach fit you can teach yeah so yeah, yeah you can teach pattern making like you can teach all these things and it, there was not a lot of focus yeah. on like the, the backstory person. of any of these people yeah. or you get more of a backstory for project runway or, yeah. or anything I, I actually wish they would have shown us their portfolio like they Before, did when, they kept talking uh, about it. who was like when uh natalia the with the blue dress yeah you know yeah. that she had the sketches like just to get an idea of what these people think because her sketches were nothing like no. what she designed. Oh. She yeah. needs to stick to, she has a certain niche. Yeah. Okay, and so, she went out of her niche. Okay, let's, go, going back to Natalia. So none of us really liked her no. crazy dress. Nor her um, model. She was like neurotic <laughs> in the, her model, okay. Okay, well we, we only have five more minutes guys, uh, so we really what? need to wrap it up. Yeah, oh. so, um, so we didn't really like Natalia's. And then Shan, I loved. He oh, had yeah, that I really cool him. jacket. But, it, but separate though, not with, together. And then he took we off were, the jacket and there was this great black dress. Yeah. Yeah. The jacket was even lined. He like, constructed yeah. that he can, jacket in like, what, an hour? Skilled. Yeah, he's focused. Okay. Yeah. But so, we were not so sure about the shoulder pads. He's my second favorite though. Second favorite. Who's second your favorite? favorite? My favorite is, uh, Brady. 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 Okay. So then after we see everybody's going down the runway, then we find out that the mentors get to, or yeah, the mentors get to go down the line and pick which designer they want on their team. They can only have four people on their team, so they can only pick a few this week because they still have some next week. And if one designer, or if one mentor picks another mentor's pick, then they have, then the designer gets, gets to choose. decide. So the first one, that, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to rush through this, but I want to get through everybody. Okay. So the first person that Mondo picks is Michelle and also Anya and Nick pick Michelle and so then it is up to her and she decided to pick Mondo. After Michelle then we get Brain. Shan. Oh excuse me. Shan. Shan. Yeah. yeah. Um, Shan and everybody picked Shan also and so Shan actually picked Anya. No Mondo passed on Shan. Mondo passed on Shan? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah because he, he had did. just picked. Okay, sorry about that, guys. After that was Blake. And didn't Shan, sorry, I know we have a couple minutes, but didn't Shan in the beginning say he wanted Mondo? Mondo yeah. did. But I think, I think he wasn't really upset about it. No. No, because, okay. yeah. But I felt like they would go together. Like, I yeah. felt like the patterns yeah. that they pick would have been really nice. They're very similar. Um, okay. So maybe it's good that he's with someone different. It is. Yeah. I think so. Uh, It'll let him explore yeah. Okay, Blake. Okay, so then we had Blake who picked Anya. We had Camilla after that, and she ended up going with Mondo. So then it's getting down to like Nick Barrios having nobody, nobody on his team, and which is surprising though. Like he's he's an older, seasoned person. Why wouldn't you pick someone that knows what they're doing and teaches? Because young though, people like cool, hip people. But by the way, but he's not person. that old. He's still youthful and young, and he knows what's out there and he knows what's and, going on. He interviews people mm -hmm. on the red carpet all the time for and TV Guide. Like yeah. most of knows. the designers are. You are <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Nick better be here next week. I know. Yeah. All I'm saying is Nick better be here next I'm week. Just, I'm defending him. I a mean, little I don't bit hate him he was, at all. He was, he was, he was sitting there, and no one had picked him, and I was like, I know. What? But yeah, he started and, getting very upset. A lot upset of the designers are, you know, older. This, you know, on under the gun. So I think they're about the same age as Nick. Some of them. Someone Google some, how old he is. But some people, I feel like oh, you no, just get a connection. Like yeah. this thing is going so quick. If you feel a connection with somebody, you got it's instinct. just a gut yeah. instinct, you know. So I, I think okay. that could be part of Can it. Can I say a sidebar? Please. I'm yes. so proud to be Trinidadian because of Anya. Like, whoop whoop, Trini in the house. Like, look <laughs> at how, how beautiful amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing to see her on there and like you know being a mentor. You know that. That's all I have to say. Oh. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Yay, okay. Anya. So right. Camilla goes with Mondo. Then we have Brady goes with Anya, and then Oscar is next, and he finally gets to go with Nick. Pity pick. 
a little bit of it a pity pick. pick. But I think the ultimate pity pick might have been Oh, the Met crying girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. A Wait, mess. time out. Everybody passed on Melissa. How did they pass That's on so Melissa? Stupid. Yeah. What in the what? That is so stupid. Just, she's so cute. She's and cute for those and she looks like she us. has a lot of potential. Yeah, Wait. I'll be you can pick me. For those yeah, of the models here. They're getting mixed up with the names and everything. That was the girl that made all the polka dots. Now, my only thing I have to say for Natalia though is maybe she was having like a very crazy freak out first day and hopefully, hopefully. Get it together. It's the she, first day. What's going to happen during the I season? Don't know. You're going to die. She wraps it up and gets her it together. Her and Nick are going to fight a lot. Oh, is what's yeah. Gonna happen. yeah. She needs somebody she's to not, kick her in. <laughs> well, we're locked and loaded and ready for but under the gun. Oh, I, yes. I don't think she's going to change. Okay, predictions. No. Let's get right into predictions. All right, who what do you think? Predictions. Wait. Yes, predictions. Who do we think? Who? What mentor do we think is going to have the contestants? Yeah, who's, which mentor is going to win this thing? Ooh, I think Anya. I think I vote for Anya. I'm, All right. I'm going between Anya or Mondo. Yeah. To, to Mondo might winners. win though. Yeah. Amanda, uh, do we need to ask? Oh, by the way, Nick is 46 years old. So, <laughs> which is still young. That's not. That's not old at all. Young, 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 young. Young. It's not old at yeah. all. But the industry has changed a little bit. Granted, the, he knows a lot been, more than I do. Yeah, he's the, been doing it way longer than the others, though. That's what I mean when I say season, not like like so much as age. You know what I mean? Right, there but were, also, are you saying that's a good thing or a bad it's thing? It's a good thing because yeah. you have experience. Like you've messed up. I think it's a good it's, thing. You know, I think it's you know, in it, I think it's a really good thing. He's got a lot of intelligence, a lot of smarts. But in the same sense, he could be jaded or think that his ways are the best yeah. ways and not explore all the possibilities. That's true. That's you know, true. like there's, I think there's pros and cons of both. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. I mean, I'm sure he's that's brilliant. No, I was saying it because a lot of the designers were over thirty, so they would, you know, you know, they're familiar they with. They could go to anyone. Really. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. And I, <laughs> but maybe, maybe they were looking for that young, yeah. fresh perspective, and that's why they went with the younger people. Yeah. My prediction is that um, Michelle, or uh, what's her name? I'm sorry, I Anya. really loved you. No. Camilla is gonna go home. Oh, I, I loved you in the dress. Yeah. Well, next, she, next yeah. week she we see. Up. Next well, they're week all we safe for a while. We see the other seven happened. next week. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 my vote's for Anya. Yeah. To win. Too. I, well, because just in the way she. Like talked, I think the mentorship is really about communication She's and good advice. Yeah, like you have to be able to coach someone. You know what I mean? Like it's like when you're a captain of a team, you're only as good as your advice. worst link. Yeah, well, well I, spiritual. Feel, I feel like on this episode, Nick was shown doing a lot of little catchphrases and stuff and trying to be funny, but he really is a great teacher, and so I'm I'm team Nick. I, I, I do have uh, to agree with you because as a who are you? Fit Which alum, are you team? I a lot of Nick, fit people but said that he's I'm a good teacher. I'm gonna go with you know it's gonna be either Mondo or Anya yeah. that wins. But I think you Nick can one. turn these people I'm Nick. around. All right, guys, Nick, so that so. wraps it up. Uh, my pick is gonna be Mondo because I've always loved Mondo. Sorry about <laughs> that. Um, so we will see you guys next week. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, where can we find you, ladies? You guys can find me on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter at Real Emma K. And don't forget to shop onto Emma K.'s closet with promo code AfterBuzz. Wow. You can find me, Amanda Fields, on Twitter and Instagram at The Runway Queen. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I A M S T E F Z. <laughs> I am Steph Z. And uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Renee Big Time. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys. And you can find me at Virginia Reina on Instagram and Twitter. And she's married now. Raina Dunn. Ooh. Raina Dunn. They haven't changed anything officially. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.